guys, I'm Krigo and this is Wasteland 3. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Awesome sauce though. We have Regan's AI in our possession here. Help the kippers fight the godfishes. Oh my. Rangers, a godfish of warband just swept into the plaza. We're under attack. Help! Actually, shall we though? We read you. We are on our way. Oh yeah. We probably have to. And the godfish is hopefully. The Statue of Regan does something too. And by the way, there's a very awesome song probably coming up again, right, you know? And uh, that means we are going to listen to it during the combat, all right? Uh, one godfish stands out, the one who was revealed by Mother Nancy Reliance. She is uh, staring up into the sky. Do you see them, oh gods of the sky? Do you see their pride? They stand among those who we've shorn of life of limb and they think they can escape <laughs> what the fuck are you talking to <laughs> we're only gonna say this one surrender hey we're standing right here it's a shame your gods live in the sky because we're going to put you in the ground <gasps> oh baby so though oh yeah here we are boys Oh, I, I love the song, man. For spacious skies. For amber waves of grain. For purple mountain. Majesties. Above the fruited plain. America America God shed his grace and crowned by good with brotherhood from sea Good. With 
I mean, the song is beautiful, right? So is the melody. It's really, really nice, though, huh? Nice. Surfing. Gets relaxing. Oh, it's out of... Uh, that's kind of bad, isn't it, now? All right, now let's see. We want to take care of a lot of them. Mm, this one. Oh, yeah. We also have a powerful machine, don't we now, boys? We got Fisher. We might actually... Sure, for now. For now. America! America! <laughs> All right, now let's see, though. He will not survive. Not for long, my boys. Down is one. I mean, the godfishes, they are not the smartest people around town, I suppose, right? You know? Oh, yeah, they are not. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. That is what I mean. Everybody going down, though. Everybody's going down. You have some powerful rifles here. Mission complete. Let's go fry a kite. Now, where is the... Uh, there is the Nancy. All right. Very good. Let's just take all of this. Oh, boy. Did you see that? We did get something interesting here. A uh, Waste Dweller Helmet. Armor plus 8, though. That is very interesting. And this is also the Spitfly. Oh, no. We already had that one. Right? So, yeah. Wow, I mean, yeah, you know, the, the, these ladies here are absolutely bonkers, aren't they? Now, we did finish that one. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. Frontier just hunt down. Nellius Dorsey is camped out with the most powerful weapons and best trained fighters in the mountains west of Colorado Springs. We will have to explore the area to find it. Sure, loads of war. Find a way inside the secret poison underneath the Broadmoor Highs. A prison, not poison. <laughs> yeah, Steel Town, we also want to do, of course. And Psychopath, we are also around there right now, right? The Zealot. Um, Return the Patriarch. Yes, yeah, sure. We might be doing all of those little things. But let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No, actually, uh, we want to go to the healer right here. Just gotta pray hard. Do you ever question your faith? Of course not. Uh, neither. Praise the Gipper! Sorry, can't help you anymore. Oh, really? The Nancys are pissed off enough at me as it is. Oh, man. I feel bummed out, though. I, I, I thought we had at least a little ally around town, you know? But, oh, well, you know, so be it, so be it. You think you're no better than the Godfisher savages. Just gotta pray. Boys. Yeah. It's dead red talking at you again. Come back on our private channel, yeah? All right, sure thing. So I guess you heard the news. Heard you captured Val. Congratulations. Can't say I wouldn't have rather seen him dead in a ditch, but maybe you'll do better next time. At least he's not out there giving people ideas. Boy never was the sharpest tool in the box, but any kid with Buchanan for a last name could be dangerous with a smart operator behind him. And those Gippers may be crazy, but they ain't dumb. Hmm, and how did you know about this, huh? You know that old song, The Night Has a Thousand Eyes? Well, so does old Angie. I got an ear at every window and a finger in every pie. No, that's kind of disturbing though, right? But at least it's a finger and not the little hole that uh, was in American Pie. Now let's talk about the other one. Uh, Vic? Damn right I mean Vic. A whole lot of innocent people have died thanks to that psycho son of a bitch. He's killed men just to check if his gun is loaded. You'd be doing the world a favor if you made sure he wasn't in it anymore. Hmm. You're out for getting murder. I know it's ugly business, but I ain't just being vindictive. From a, what do you call it, political perspective, 
Any child of the Patriarch is a destabilizing force on the region. If you want peace in Colorado, the Buchanan brand has got to go. Not sure about this, though. Well, just keep it in mind. That's all I'm asking. And now I better mosey. I'll be talking to you. Dead red, over and out. So it's people, though, right? You know, I mean... You know how it goes. The are... Your daily reminder that the Rangers are the worthless scum of this ice-blasted Earth. Oh, at least we ain't robots and have that friends right now, right? Well, actually, we do have a ton of that friends. But you know what I mean. The thing, though, is, right, you know... Oh, what is this? Well, let me finish my sentence for once. People like that, they suffer in prison the most. Because outside, they have the glorious life where they think they have freedom and all. And from within, they really die out. A bunch of jewels are banging rocks together ahead of you. They seem to find this fascinating. Hmm, small chance of escape. Success. Ooh. I say unto you, the gods yeah. have turned their faces from this fallen world. And only the works of the righteous will bring them back again. For the smell of blood is sweet. And the screams of the dying are like sweet music to Whoa, the Whoa, we got a god militia By here? Our gifts shall we be judged, brothers and sisters. So says the prophet. And so, let us gather the fruits of the flesh. And with our labor, create a heavenly chorus that no god can deny. Only then will we be worthy of sun and rain, of green fields, and a bountiful harvest. Cast forth your lines, brothers and sisters. Amen. Yeah, God's militia, though. My, my, my. So many did survive here, huh? Command, oh. calling Team November. Come in. Yeah, sure. Listen, I tried to put her off, but Mrs. Wong just won't stop calling about this noise. Could you do me a... Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Miss Wong again, huh? Don't you try to make it sound like it's nothing. Those kids are driving my cats and me crazy. Miss Wong, the Rangers have more important things to... Well, what kids? Yeah, indeed. The kids who broke into Fair and Brightle's old club. They're having a dance party in there. Boom, boom, boom. All night long. They're a public menace. Would you mind checking it out, November? She's not gonna stop calling until you do. I can hear you, you know. Yeah, well, probably. Roger, we'll check it out now. Thanks, November. I owe you. What I know. They Are they gonna do it? They better take care of this. I'll write a letter to the paper. <laughs> Miss Wong, I thought we were a little bit of friends, what though, huh? Need? All right, what do I need? Well, I think, you Let's know. See if you can find what you want. Oh. The full borer. Wow, that is a lot of damage, though, huh? That's a lot of damage indeed. Medium upgrade. Interesting. Let's sell some gold here, right? You know, so we have at least a little bit of uh, pocket change inside of a wallet. And sell the junk. A little bit, though. A little bit. Not much of a profit, but oh well. Fucking refugees. Whoa. Can't take a step in CS without tripping over goddamn planes trash these days. Yeah, and the yeah. other marshals again. In public, asking decent people to use their toilets. They're disgusting. Don't see us sleeping under bridges, do you? What's wrong with them? Why can't they go back where they came from? Goddamn freeloaders is what they are. What the fuck, my boy, huh? You're lucky. Wow, these marshals, they are giving us a bad rap, man. I'm glad the refugees have a place to stay. I just wish it wasn't Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing Happy I can do about that. Take a look. Nothing I can do about that. Oh, look at that. Semi-auto pistol. 78 to 95. Did we sell that? I don't think we did sell that, though. Now, I wonder how the robotic is doing over here, you know? <laughs> Oh, there she is. Fissy, Ficky. Ranger. Here I am, just like I promised. Ready to expand yeah. my vistas and learn new things. Thanks so much for inviting me to the party. Sure, but don't you super glue, all right? I already talked to Doc Parker and sterilized myself from ass to applicators. So I'm ready to assist him when you guys hurt yourselves. But listen, I owe you more than that for this opportunity 
So let me share something with you. All right. Uh, uh, Ficky, first of all, you don't really owe me anything, though. But that humor, keep it up, man. Having electronic eyes helps me spot things when I'm scavenging. But that isn't all of my secret. It's all about the filtering. Knowing what not to look at. And now you know. <gasps> Investigative eye? How are you liking it here so far? It's new. It's different. Lots of people to meet. Don't think I'm gonna get bored anytime soon. So I'm a happy girl. All right, yes you are. And where did you get your bizarre focability? Ah, it's not really bizarre though. I like it. Back at the commune, BB Secto saved an old prospector from dying and spent a few days helping him convalesce. He was a talkative old coot. Mm. Guess that memory was part of the slice of his consciousness I got made from. I see. Hasta luego, benefactors. <laughs> okay then. Uh, now what do we have here? Perk, 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 this one. Perception plus one. Ficky found herself searching the runes behind the machine commune. She helps you become a bit more perspective uh, of the world around you. I appreciate it, though. What do you need, Rangers? Quite a lot, quite a lot. Uh, petting That's up. You have a seat. My God, though, I hope uh, the flickering over here is not your monitor or mine. I really hope it's the dumbass lighting I in don't here. I mind not having to clean and suture a festering wound. Ah! Uh, is it? Romance Rangers. the bone? Rangers. A moment of your time. Mag okay, wait, 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 wait. What is this now? We got, we, we know now. Margaret and Betsy. You might be able to help you. The woman is stout as a kettle grim faced and head nose. Her clothes are plain, but judging by their cleaner of cleanness, they may be the best she owns. Rangers. Yeah. These ladies remind me of my mama back home. All right. My name's Betsy. If you don't mind, we've got a request for you. Me and the girls here. We got family who were arrested a while back and put to hard labor at the Patriarch's work camp. Thing is, we've no clue where it is. And the marshals won't say a lick on the subject. Yeah, well, why would he put there, huh? She falls into an expectant silence. And you want us to get free, uh, to go free your people. What do you want us to do? Whatever it is, we don't have to get involved. Well, we don't want to. Okay, what do you want us to do? Figure out where they're holding our loved ones. That's all we're asking you for. And we'll damn well pay you for the privilege. We'll do it. We, we're not interested. Yeah, we're not really interested, though. We kind of want to know why, Betsy. Thanks. For now, we accept it. Frank Papas in downtown Colorado Springs. Her face gentles and it becomes clear that Betsy isn't half as old as she appears. I wish we had more for you to work with, but the only thing we got is a name. Frank Pappas was a marshal in charge of shipping folks to the work camp. Mm. Any idea where Papas is now? All we know is that he's retired. Oh. Living somewhere downtown. Does Papa have any friends or family who can help us find him? Someone at the Marshall Station might know something. They won't tell us anything. But you might be luckier. When we find this war camp, we'll let you know. We'll be waiting. No need to notify the civvies, but... Frank's been taking his retirement at the Sands Lux Apartments. Never went far from the Marshals. I see, huh? Marshal Quan whispers. Daisy always kept the work camp pretty hush-hush. Most of us didn't know a thing about it. Except that it's somewhere outside the city. Mm. Old Frank is ornery. But we can make him talk. Interesting. Oh, well, yeah, but you know, we it's better, we better. absolutely marvelous. Being able to stretch my legs without invading another's personal space once more. Yeah, how cool of is that, huh? Rangers. It would not sure big boy? is a great place to call home, but at least it's warm and safe. Indeed. And they don't really like what we are doing, huh? But oh well, you know. It is what it is. We cannot do anything about it. Gideon Race. No, no. Nothing like that. 
nothing sordid. Putting the refugees in the brig was a good compromise. They've got nothing to complain about. Now, what can I do for you? It's just a momentary solution, right? Uh, opinion of the local big shots? No, Safe we are fine. Times, Rangers. What about Rangers. you, big boy? Good to see you. Nobody's talking about here. Regan? Oh. Seriously, no, this is there, uh, yeah, base. Nothing either. Okay, call me happily surprised though, huh? All right, boys, let's talk to Wolf. Yeah. Ah, we killed Tinker. Here's her head. Nasty bitch. Glad to hear it. Here's her bounty. All right, very good, very good. Part collected, fuel cup part collected. Tinker's head, nice. All right, I mean, you know, it is something. It is something. Rangers. I remember something about this location here. Oh, diggable. Is my hero. Never eaten this well in my life. Ah, nice, though. I'm very happy, though, right? You know, that uh, the Rangers are having a good stomach right here. That's nasty. We've got some screeching there. We've got a Ranger up top of here, which is always good, right? You know? Call. And I hope the big boy's warm enough, right, you know? But yeah, man, you know, like, oh, good plate right. of food. You got the gippers to turn the oil on. Yep. Slick work. I mean, you know, it is so important, by the way, isn't it? To get a good stomach full of food. It's the difference between life and death, of course, but also for good moral. And if you have good moral, you fight way better. Um, yeah, we will just stay with the one that we have right now. Yes, 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 yes. Utility, blah, 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 blah. No, Randy Gat, let's see. Hey, Rangers. Yeah? I never got a chance to thank you properly for your help with my family. You did what you could. I feel bad, though. I was thinking though. on how I could show my thanks and realized I work with cars day in and out. And you all take them into battle. There's a lot of things I learned about how to fix cars and how to break them. Here, let me show you. Awesome. Thanks, Randy. Happy to have you. Happy to be here. I've already been working with your folks here. They'll have all kinds of new goodies for you. See you around. All right. Awesome. Yeah, we want to check it out. So and chicken then... with wires running around here. Just don't ask us to fix it. Nah, don't you worry about it though, right? You know. Of course. Let's uh, anything around. Want. Yeah, we did sell these. Uh, nothing. Yeah, well, we have new things, but nothing that we want. I think we are going to put a new ornament on, right? You know, hood ornament. It's kind of funny, right? You know, just her mask right up there. It's like a symbol for the sins, right? You know. Oh, yes, indeed it is. Come in, mm. Team November. Yes. This is HQ. Finally got a signal through to Arizona. Oh! It's a bit spotty, but we got word from General Wade Woodson. He'd like to speak with you. A great job, Gonzalez. We will be back for uh, for the call. Copy that HQ. Uh, we'll be there when we can. Uh, let's go for the first one. Thanks, November. Amazing what you can do with a bit of tape and a lot of ingenuity. See you soon. Oh yeah, see you soon, big dude. Oh boy, oh boy. Ew, old people. Oh my God. Why? Do something! Yeah, Troy. Do something about it, I dare you. What are they doing here? What do you want, lamos? Great party you've got here, might if we join in. We've been getting some noise complaints. You're going to have to take this party elsewhere. Shut this shit down now. You guys seem like a cute couple. Oh my god, did that do those two? Um, is that the same disco bot that, that was DJing when the club was open? Just looking around, don't mind us. Yeah, noise complaints. <laughs> right. You're not the marshals. We don't have to listen to you. Why don't you go play games with the nerds upstairs? They're pretending to be lawmen too. What nerds though? Get out uh, before we throw you out. Uh, yeah. We're not going any- You don't know who you're messing with, bros. You know who my daddy is. We don't care who your daddy is though. Ignore him and Smoking teen, away. drinking teen. Kind of feel bad for Brygo right now, though. Uh, I'm dancing here, you pervs. Wow, man. Really? Lucia uh, Weston, though. I'm here, you pervs. Miss Busco returned to Rosie Wong downtown. Bye bye. Let's loot it. Beautiful. 
to kill a doll. Nobody's going to kill you, you weebos. All right. Loud sniffs and occasional growls. Whoa, stray dog? Are you kidding me? Man, it's kind of dark down here, huh? So many little doggos around here, though. So many. A pro forced. Oh, no. oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is Wasteland 2. We are playing Wasteland 2, though, but the Dungeons and Dragons style. Uh, hi. Who are. Oh, my God. Uh, not literally, though. Yeah. You're Rangers. Real life, actual Rangers. Do you want to play robots and rangers with us? We'd be honored. What is robot and rangers? Well, why not? How do we play? Uh, why don't you bring your game bot to the HQ? Nobody will mess with you, dear. Hard as too. We've got no idea what language you're speaking, but your punks need to leave now. Uh, why not? I mean, you know, we do need smart people at HQ too, right? You know, and also new recruits for later on. Oh, yeah! Absolutely, yes! <laughs> we'll see you there the next time we play. Alright, so that one is finished too, so very nice, very nice. And I mean, those kids, right, you know, they're not bothering anyone. They just need some quiet time. They can learn a lot in the meanwhile, you know, and uh, it's good for the reputation, you know what I mean? Oh, Miss Wong! What did you do, Rangers? Did you hurt those poor kids? We just scared them a little. Oh, yes, that's very smart. Make them scared of the police. Now they hate you. You think that'll make them better citizens? Ha! Well, now that I know that you're not so polite after all, who am I supposed to call? Damn you, Rangers. Here, take this and don't come back. I don't want your help anymore. <laughs> all right, I wanted to show you guys that. And this is the second option, by the way. The disco bot is permed out of Fumping B. The kids love it. They are dancing like crazy. Nerd stuff six. Restore the disco bot's original military programming and select the teens as its targets. Oh yeah. Hack the disco bot so it plays the worst music ever. As the disco bot was already hacked to play music, this is a trivial task. It starts playing an inscrutable, terrible song. The teens stop and stare at the disco bot in horror. Oh god! What's happening? My soul is dying. This is the worst music ever. I want to die. Make it stop. I want to die. I mean, uh, yeah, you know. Oh my God, don't you just hate that? Uh, you again. You smell like my grandpa. Yeah, you smell like diapers, man, you know. Brush your freaking teeth. It can't be the apocalypse, but still, you know. And by the way, what's up with your legs, huh? You know? <laughs> Great party you've got here, man. If you join, you guys seem like a cute couple. Um, no way. It's like my yeah. dad's or something. I just brought it for the party. Uh, yeah. Do you even know who Troy's dad is? He's like totally rich. Is it, huh? All right. You guys seem like a cute couple. <laughs> yeah. Troy and Brandy forever. Right, babe? Yeah. As long as you keep your eyes on me. Not all those other hussies. Ugh, babe, I told you you're the only one for me. I can't help it if I sometimes get distracted. Man, the intelligence is sh uh, brightening this entire room. You better help it or we're done. Just like last week or three weeks ago. Brandy, you're a fine girl. Your eyes could steal a sailor from the sea. Great part. Yeah, maybe we should ruin them, right, you know? Oh, that's so sweet. You, uh, look pretty strong. How far can you throw a football? Oh my, I thought I was too old, uh, huh? Brandy? Are these rangers bothering you? Hmm? <laughs> no, we're just talking. You know, rangers, you've all got nice eyes. Know any sailor stories about the sea's raging glory? Well, you know, I mean, all of us, huh? Just talking, right. So why'd you get so pissed when I was just talking with Heather last week? You did not just bring up that whore Heather. Troy, you piece of shit! That's not even remotely the same thing and you know it! Fuck you! Ah, emotions. Randy, baby, come back! What the fuck was that, Rangers? You know how hard it's gonna be to get the party back on track after that? You guys uh, suck. 
You are totally harsh in the party. Why of course you we just are. Leave us alone. RS5 is going to get worse. Much worse. Fuck it. Party sucks anyway. Suck an egg, Jerry's. We're out. Awesome. What are you looking at? All right. I'm about to wait for the keg. Maybe we could put something in it. Remains at least half full. Chug as much as you can. <laughs> Not sure. You open the tap and drink away. Yeah, oh my boys. What is this though? Rowdy, melee damage bonus plus 25. Wait a minute. What? You saying something, mom? That's my, about my mom? Oh my lord, yo. I just love how, uh, you know, Rosie Wong is actually, you know, uh, reacting to us if we are a little bit mean to the kids, but she's the one complaining, right? She just wants them to have a great time, but still, you know think about others but oh well you know we did a good job both ways thank you rangers i can sleep at last and so can my cats here a little something for your trouble since i'm sure that tight fist the patriarch isn't paying you much i'm gonna send a special surprise to your clubhouse or headquarters or whatever you call it nah nah i'm not saying what it is but you'll love it i promise now go on i'm a busy woman thanks rosie i'm sure we'll see you soon Come on, kitties. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sure over. we will see you soon. <laughs> yeah, the thing though about that is, right, you know, she's probably sending something about a kitty cat towards us. Where is the guy? He should have been in here, huh? Hmm. Or was it this room? Yeah, it was this room. There he is. Are you Quan? This official? Just a friendly chat, Frank. You know, like the old days. Ah, oh, fuck. What do you want? Oh my. Uh, we want to ask. Uh, we want to ask you about some folks doing time at the Patriarch's war camp. How would I know anything about that? I just drove them out there and dropped them off. Fair enough. Tell her. Uh, tell us the location of the camp. That's a state secret. Patriarch's orders. You got a problem with that. Take it up with the marshals. Forget the marshals. This is between you and us. Where's the war camp? Come on, Frank. We just want to be able to tell their families where they are. Let them know they're okay. Let's go for the first one. Forget the marshals? You're saying that with Quan standing right next to you. Go fuck yourselves. I ain't telling you shit. Don't worry, Frank. I'm an ex marshal just like you. I don't answer to Daisy no more. Bullshit. I ain't talking. How about you join the Rangers? Daisy wouldn't dare touch you. We have got a mandate from the Patriarch. Hmm. $400 or hard ass. There are two ways this can end, Frank. We leave you breathing or we leave you cold. Pick one. Yeah, you can join us. You'd hire a broken down old sack of shit like me. For real. Wow. That's more than I expected. Retirement in the apocalypse is a nasty thing, though. You sure about this, Rangers? Daisy's not gonna like it. We don't care what Daisy likes. Frank's hired. Guess you're right. Well, you know, we don't really care, though. Great. I'll get my stuff together. But first, I'll tell you what you want to know. I was told to drive the prisoners to this cave northeast of the city and give them to some tattooed plains motherfucker. Didn't seem the type to be an overseer. And it didn't look like a great place for a work camp. But I don't ask questions, you know? I just do what I'm told. Here, I'll mark the spot on your map. That's all I can do for you, I swear. I'll see you at your HQ, Rangers. Just gotta pack up. And thanks again. All right, Marshall's HQ of uh, Marshall's reputation minus uh, five. Kind of dumb though, if you ask me, because why can't we not hire people that, you know, that are retired from the former job? You know, isn't that a little bit weird though? I think that is just very, very weird. All right, how many? Oh, 240 seconds left, though. But by that, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy, and don't forget to subscribe, though. Bye-bye.